Hi guys and welcome to the Holiday Madness. I have mentioned it on some of my other social media platforms, but I am the baker of this family, which means the week leading up to Christmas is a very busy time for me. Keeping that in mind, I wanted this week's video to be quick, easy, and holiday festive. So we're just gonna play a fun little game. I'm going to be trying to guess whether these Hallmark movie plot summaries are real or fake. Shout out to BuzzFeed for creating a quiz to make my life a lot easier. Alrighty, I love a good cheesy Hallmark movie, so let's get into it. Our first plot summary goes like this. Newly single and unemployed, Elise finds herself running her family's Christmas tree lot. Unfortunately, the lot has a new landlord who has zero Christmas spirit and who threatens to shut them down. With the help of a handsome customer, Darren, Elise tries to save her family's business. Hmm. Now, it doesn't seem too far-fetched to be a Hallmark Christmas movie. In fact, it almost seems too normal to be a Hallmark Christmas movie, but I'm gonna guess it's fake and for one reason. They said Christmas tree lot, not Christmas tree farm. Christmas tree lot sounds too urban, too city. When do Hallmark Christmas movies take place in the city? Literally never. They're in the middle of nowhere, they're in a rural town, in some Peppermint Valley fake Vermont area where it always snows, and I don't believe that Hallmark would set a movie somewhere where there's a Christmas tree lot and not a Christmas tree farm. So I'm gonna guess it's fake. <gasps> it's real! Are you kidding? Hallmark, you chose to set this at a Christmas tree lot and not a Christmas tree farm? What was the money running out? Did you use the rest of the budget for all the other cookie cutter movies the rest of the year? We'll have to investigate that later. It's definitely not one I've ever seen. That movie is called Fur Crazy if you're interested in watching it. On to the next. Maybe I won't be good at this. I never claimed to be good at this one, to be fair. I never claimed I was gonna be good at this. I said it would be fun. <laughs> Alrighty, our next plot summary. A set of identical twins are dissatisfied with their current situations, so they decide to switch lives for the Christmas season. By doing so, they each learn the true meaning of their own lives. Now this just kind of sounds like the plot of the princess switch, except for they weren't identical twins, they were just weird doppelgangers. So are you trying to throw me off and make it sound like the princess switch, which isn't a Hallmark movie, or are you telling me that Hallmark has something similar and they just threw in the bit that they were twins? I feel like I'm saying fake. It's probably real, but I'm saying fake. It's real, it's definitely real. Oh, I've never seen it. It's called Swish for Christmas and it looks like the cheapo, less glamorous, less royal version of a princess switch. So like in my book, just pretend it's fake and go watch the princess switch, okay? All right, fair enough. On to our next. Catherine, a high-powered attorney. Ooh, that feels real. Mmm, but maybe they're trying to get me. Anyway, Catherine, a high-powered attorney, finds herself in a moral conundrum when she must represent a large corporation that's threatening to build on the land a small town uses for its annual Christmas fair. That feels so real. I'm sure this is the one that's fake, they're just doing this to stop me, but it feels so real. Of course that one's fake. I like that the when it says it's fake, it says, as far as I know, that's not a real Hallmark movie, but then again, they have made a lot of them, so who knows? Did you not fact check this, BuzzFeed? Are you telling me there's a chance that it's real? Wait, when did this quiz come out? This quiz also came out in 2017, so that could be a real movie by now. I don't know. It sounds pretty real. It sounds along the lines of what Hallmark likes to stick. Like, that high-powered attorney small town Christmas fair, that's their bread and butter. They live for that stuff. Anyway, on to the next. Jessica is in charge of finding a Santa for her town's Christmas parade, but her only option is a stubborn Uber driver who lives 200 miles away. She hires him for a trip home in hopes of convincing him to take the Santa gig. If that's real, I'm angry about it. That sounds like a terrible movie. Why does Uber exist in this universe? Why aren't you taking old fashioned cabs or like horse drawn carriages? 200 miles and you're trying to convince a stubborn Uber driver to play Santa? Like I'm gonna say that's fake. If it's real, I'm mad. Oh my God, it's real. Hallmark, we really, we need to sit down and have a moment. That's real and it looks bad. It just looks bad. It's got Jodie Sweetin in it. Did you use the whole budget on her and not actually writing a good storyline? Perhaps. Um, the movie's called Finding Santa, if you'd like to watch it. I wouldn't, but maybe you do. Moving right along. A former hotel maid becomes a governess for a young girl, only to find that the girl is actually a princess with a very handsome father. 
what is that? That is a movie. I don't think it's a Hallmark movie though. What's the Netflix one where the girl shows up to the ball in Converse and she's blonde? Um, it's gonna bother me. A Christmas Prince, but that's a Netflix movie. And no, I don't think she was a maid. I think she was a teacher who becomes a tutor. So maybe this is real and this is just Hallmark's version. This is the kind of holiday stuff I wanna watch. I wanna watch some normal girl become a princess because isn't that the dream? I'm gonna say it's real. It is real, I was right. It's called Crown for Christmas. Okay, it does kind of look like a crappier knockoff version of a Christmas prince, but I'd probably still watch it. Ashley is a marriage counselor who is unlucky in love, but when she starts counseling an older couple who look remarkably like Mr. and Mrs. Claus, she falls in love with their son, Matthew. You're telling me Santa Claus has a son named Matthew? That itself just feels far-fetched, but probably just far-fetched enough to be real. However, do they have like therapists and marriage counselors in the Hallmark realm? Or is everyone just supposed to not have problems? Like their only problem is like, my family's Christmas tree farm isn't making enough money. Or like, my family's peppermint recipe got lost because it was handwritten one copy and we lost it in a snowstorm. Like, do they have real problems in Hallmark movies to need a marriage counselor? It sounds interesting, except for naming their son Matthew. We'll say it's real. It's fake. But it's something I would watch. Okay, now it's all starting to make sense. The ones that I think I'd like to watch are fake. They haven't made them yet. But you know what? I was initially right. I should have stuck with my gut. They don't have any real problems in Hallmark movies, so like they probably don't have any therapists. Okay. A seamstress finds out that her boyfriend is actually a prince when she travels to his home to meet the royal in-laws. That just sounds like the plot of Cinderella. Again, something I would watch because I like the whole royalty aspect to it. Is this one of those things where he's like, I'm not gonna tell her I'm a prince to see if she really loves me. She's not in it for the money. But at the end, like she does love me and we get married, but the family's probably unhappy because she's like a normal person and not royalty. I don't know, I hope it's real. If it's real, I'm gonna go watch it. I'm gonna say it's real. <gasps> it is. Lacey Chabert? Lacey Chabert is in this one? I'm gonna have to go watch this. It's called A Royal Christmas, and I know what I'm watching this evening. Michelle and Tom both hate Christmas music, but the record label they work for assigns them to write a brand new Christmas hit. Sparks fly as the two make music and gradually fall in love with each other and with Christmas. I want to say it's real because this is another one that I would consider watching. We need more Christmas music. We need more Christmas hits. Mariah Carey can't keep the monopoly on Christmas music forever. I feel like because I want to watch it, it's fake. I'm going to say it's fake. It is fake. Typical. The North Pole is running out of magic energy. So an elf named Clementine must travel to a small town to convince its citizens to uncancel their Christmas tree lighting ceremony. I'm like looking for the correlation between Christmas energy or magic energy and one small town's Christmas tree lighting ceremony. I know at the end of Elf, we're convinced that like people believing in Santa makes the sleigh fly and all of that. And that's fine and good. But I have problems with an elf named Clementine and I have a problem with it's one small town is enough to run the North Pole. I don't know. I think it's far-fetched, but it's probably real. It is real. I, I'm glad I guessed right, but it's just far-fetched enough. Bailey Madison was in this one. Is she the elf named Clementine? Was she in her bag? Was she getting paid for this role? Anyway, that is the plot of the movie North Pole. It's just called North Pole. If you're interested in watching that. <laughs> Alrighty, last plot summary. Melanie is assigned her crush Donovan for her office secret Santa. Her thoughtful gifts make Donovan fall in love with her, but another woman tries to take credit for her gifts. See, now I like the office drama aspect. However, when has a Hallmark movie ever been set in an office building? When is it ever in a city? When is it ever out of rural, fake, small town America? I feel like they're trying to trip me up. I feel like this is like the one movie they've ever made about an office, but I'm gonna say it's fake. It's real. Also, the set behind them does not look like any kind of office building. So like, what do you mean office Christmas, but it's set in the middle of a field? 
Anyway, it's called With Love Christmas if you'd like to watch that. I'd consider it, but I'm gonna watch The Royal Christmas or A Crown for Christmas first. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thank you so much for bearing with me through this busy holiday time. I hope you guys are all enjoying the holiday season with your friends, family, and loved ones. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below. And there may be another quick surprise video coming for you later this week. Thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you guys after Christmas. Bye.